Alright, welcome back. It's Fana and Scott with Let's Play Spycraft the Great Game Part 5, I believe. Last time, after we went through Case a bunch Officer of records Thorne. and tracked welcome down to Interlink. Okay, some bastards who stole our secret weaponry, we then got this urgent directive, if you'll recall. Urgent directive. Report to Rural Route 9, Halifax, Virginia, immediately. So, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Here's a picture of the house. Sorry about the theatrics, but under the circumstances, they were necessary. Why? Why couldn't you personally have told me to come? We work in the same building. I'm sure you recognize Bill Colby, one of my predecessors at Langley. I do. I've heard a lot about you, Thorne. I've kept Bill up to date on your progress. Impressive, so far. Your success is why we brought you here. You've got a problem at the agency. Harmonica couldn't have known about the peg. We developed it after he left. And that means that someone within the agency is leaking to somebody hostile. And that somebody can waltz right into one of our most secure installations and make off with a highly classified weapon. What? One that could be more damning than Ames. I know your slate is full, Thorn, but we need you. And if you're successful, you can write your own ticket. I'll add Bill to the communications loop. Direct all of your thoughts on the mole to him. He'll keep Peter and me up to date. Otherwise, chain of command remains. I don't want any of this getting out. Understood? This mold Understood. is as deep as it looks. The agency is history. All right. Case Officer Thorne. So that was Welcome William to Colby, Intellin who was actually a CIA director um, back in the day. Really interesting guy uh, in real life. Uh, sadly, he is not alive anymore. I want to say he died right around when this game came out. Got word on the bust. Ying was tipped off just as the feds got there. She killed an agent, got away clean. They're putting the intel from the scene together right now. I'll have it sent to your office. That's not good. Holy everything. What's happening? There are several reasons people betray their country, and some of them are better than others. I'd look for certain personality traits when I was recruited. People looking to upgrade their lifestyles are always a risk. They'll take money, sex, and whatever else you can give them, but usually they'll leave a trail and get caught. Ames was an upgrader, and we caught him. That's why I always look for the ideologues. They're the gems. They truly believe they're doing the right thing. And if they're good, their motivations are personal and invisible. Hmm. Here's the Eclipse program I was talking about earlier. So this <coughs> really doesn't work. Uh, I mean, it does. The program works fine, but it will never have enough information to actually make a decision. But that's okay. It'll still be nice to look at. David? Thorn, we need to track down Yin. Now I'm getting buried here. With I what? What is that? So I'm hoping you can turn up some clues on your What do you do? Okay. Oh, David. Hi, Thorn. DDO's office asked me to tell you the stuff from Rockland is in your office. It looks like Ying was passing codes. Probably deals. I'll send you some cipher tools and a brief synopsis on codes. Okay. You could also, you know, help with them or do something. Worthless. Mission directives for case officers. All right, just Thorn. to check up on where we're at, we need to check up on that super stock-looking photo in Moscow. We need to talk to Foster about bird song, and we need to look at that evidence that is on our desk. Mission directives for case officer Lang. Ooh, Lang has made some progress. It looks like. This is Theodore Lang. I just heard a side report about the Jeffries autopsy. I tracked down the shooter's rifle. All that got me was a Wade's weapons. Quaint little gun shop in Alexandria. The rifle was purchased.
purchased by a Mr. Oh, let's see here. Lester H. Baxter. I'm looking into it. I'll keep you posted. Lang out. Thank you. This is Lang. I compared notes with Parker this morning, and get this. I just received a call from Tom Phillips. The famous harmonica wants to meet with me immediately, as in now. I haven't been able to contact Max Foster for support, but that's fine. I'm bringing this asshole in myself. All right, so apparently Lang is in Moscow and is about to meet with Harmonica. So that's curious. Also, this is curious because I thought he did this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He meant it's odd. He had a teleconference with David Holt about Harmonica. Wonder why. Whatever. Mission directives for case officer Asai. Asai here. As you know, I arrived at Ying Chung Wang's Rockland address at dawn with a strike team at the ready. Apparently, she was warned. She killed one of the team as she escaped. I collected evidence at the site. Thorne will get it after FBI counterintelligence looks it over. Asai, out. Thanks, Asai. Sorry about, you know, your team sucking. This is Asai. I'm in London now, but of course, if I find Ying here, I am taking her down. She got away once. That sounded... Once. Something. Okay. Analyze troop movements, Russian nuclear facilities. What? Okay, I don't know what that's Mission about. directives for Case Officer Parker. Parker, apparently, also Case Moscow. Officer Parker reporting. I'm about to meet with Owen Pierce. Oh, right. Rajiv Jarabal. he's been trailing. We've heard that. But... Oh, he did contact Noonie and Fong, finally. Uh, and then he's done nothing else. Literally the only thing he's accomplished in the past, like, days of game time is meeting with Noonie and Fong. So that's perfect. Hi, Younger. MP. Just wanted to Patricia. say hi. And we're moving. Also note, we could go to Moscow at any point here and do that. Or, well, not do all of it, but at least start on meeting with Max Foster and Birdsong and all that. But I'm doing it in an order that has a little bit less back and forth. Makes a little more sense to me. Also, I think this is the part of the game where if this were the Windows version, there'd be an additional disc here on the table. Um, and if it is, I will try to cut in some footage of that later maybe do it as a bonus video there's like a bad mahjong game you can play in the windows version that if you beat it you get a lame clue um so maybe i'll see if i can get that to work uh for a bonus video anyway let's look at what we've got here the electronic book of the month club it's almost like the internet's here in 1996. Alright. So, ooh, the Rabbit Hound. It's an astonishingly realistic mystery wrapped up in an up to the minute technical thriller. That's, that's exciting. Okay, whatever. Back. Uh, the Con and I is a buddy story about a skinhead Buddhist. Who's thrown into an alternate universe. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. What did I just do? Did I do what I wanted to do? Four to six weeks for delivery. Perfect. Let's download that instead. Now, sadly, they have not actually typed up these amazing sounding books. But I'm just going to download them just in case. Because if Ying had them, maybe I'll need them for something. Doop doop do. And apparently we'll be getting a floppy in four to six, six weeks, so watch out for that. Right, here's the book Beowulf. I don't recall Beowulf being nearly as long as it looks in this. But whatever. Here is a picture of Ying and Grendel. He looks really small in this photo, like his head is tiny. Hawaiian shirt guy. Good, good, good work. You keep doing you. Alright. 
This was stuck inside a copy of the Internet Starter Guides in the section Posting Messages to the News Groups. Okay. These are Beal Codes. Uh, it's a book code where usually the first column represents a page number, second column represents a line, third column represents a word on that line. So it's very easy to decode if you have the right book or other code source. If we click the note over the computer, the one will type it in for us. So then I can go into the cipher tool and see Ying's note. Link established to National Security Agency. Now, this does all kinds of different decoding, sort of. Um, actually, there's Case a, Officer Thor Link that's is not what I want. That's what I want. Okay, this tool can be used to decrypt encoded messages through all different ways. Um, it We're never going to use like any of this. Um, but it can do a basic substitution cipher. It can do a complex substitution cipher. Perfect. A transposition cipher. The Beal, which is what, whoops, which is what we're actually about to decode. Does it explain this? Yeah, line 34, character 45, page 101. Yep. Then DES ciphers. Uh, yeah, DES encryption is not computationally infeasible, for the record. Um, though when this game came out, we didn't... I guess we didn't know that for sure at the time. But now we do. I have no idea if Redoc2 ciphers are a real thing. They might be. Never heard of them. Loki ciphers... <laughs> are classified. Don't worry, we'll never see one. Idea ciphers are, are not classified. Uh, the type of one-time pad-based encryption, I believe. Public key encryption. This is uh, what we use, I think, within the game in our email system, though it's never really mentioned. Link so anyway, that was some useless information agency. about code breaking. We will never use this, we'll never use this, we'll never use this, we'll never use this, we'll never use this. We don't even have the option to use any of this. Beal. All right. What was the book she had? She had Beowulf. Use Beowulf. Sorted. Decryption successful. Grendel. Mirage said nukes you acquired at Dubna will bring good price. Call the buyer. As soon as I'm done in Moscow, I'll join you in Istanbul. My thoughts are always with you. Raven. Okay, so quite a bit happened here. We know who Grendel is. I think we can assume that Raven is Ying Cheng Wang. Mirage must be someone they work for or works with them or something. So Grindel was behind that nuclear, nuclear arms theft earlier mentioned where the Russians claimed nothing was stolen. Of course, he did steal some something. And Raven, or Ying, is heading to Moscow and then going to meet up with Grindel in Istanbul. So, quite a bit of information. There, Opening actually. email gateway. I have located, well, I've located a number of pe people actually. But most importantly, Ying Cheng Wang. It! Where is it at? She stated in the encryption message that, oh my god. She would be in Moscow. Torn. Message sent. God, that's fast. Got a present for you. Thank you. We have confirmed that Ying is in Moscow. A Psy is heading up a team to take her down. Now Max Foster will be calling you to let you know how it goes. But just in case, I'm going to send you some tools for planning interrogations. We may want to leverage her relationship with Grendel to get her to talk. Okay. The photo doc tool. <laughs> this might be the worst part of the game. Um... This photo doc tool, not good. Uh, sadly, I don't think I have case anything else to Thorn. do right now. Welcome. Unless I go to Mission Russia. Directives for case no, I really have nothing else to do. Damn it. Okay, the photo doc tool it is. That's photo how doctoring this video. tool enabled. This is from V Systems. That's the same fake asshat company who makes mix and match. So you you, you know it's good. There's stuff in the CIA archives, whatever. Hmm. So the idea is 
we have a picture of dude in room. We need to make it look like it's Grendel and that he's in Istanbul. How do we do this? We fake a photograph of him. So what language would the newspaper be in Istanbul? It would be in Turkish. Uh, now, Lord knows what you're supposed to actually do here. Um, in my opinion, however you do this, it looks awful. And in fact, usually when I get it to work, it looks worse than some of my other shots. So no idea. Cigarettes. Um, for this one, you have to remember from one of the uh, intelligence reports earlier that he smokes Emperor fil Filterless. Which, if we can note real quick, these are clearly camels, these are Newports, these are Pall Mall, and these are Lucky Strikes, in case anyone's missing out. I don't know why they're called Silk Lights, though. These are clearly like Lucky Strikes, though. That makes no sense. Unless they're supposed to be, like, Silk Cuts or something British. Okay, getting too sucked into this now. Moving on. Okay, have a giant box of cigarettes there. It's, you know, it's bigger than your head, but that's fine. Um, sure, there's some stuff. Grindle faces. Again, none of these faces really look right, but that's fine. We should use the one with the cigarette in it. <laughs> that won't be awkward at all. Giant head Grindle. Boop, boop, boo. Ah, oh, that's a good photo right there. That is a good one. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I've never gotten that on my first try before, but that photo. Oh, that was too good. Alright, so yeah, if you guys ever need to doctor a photo, that's how to make it look right there. Alright, Greg McManus over at the National whatever it was, Photographic Interpretation Center. Uh, it's been buried with Dubiansky stuff, but Seton has to look at it. Light sourcing and perspective are on target. Thanks, Greg. There it is again, guys, in case you're wondering. That is on target right there. Amazing. Thorn, I'm Max Foster. Hi, Max I Foster. I here in Moscow. I've got Ying. Come deal with her soon. Lean in close. I have to ship her back to the States. Lean in real close. Hey, kid. Heard you snatched the peg thief. There's something in the Moscow safe house that you should know about. It's an interrogation device left over from the Cold War. They've got it stored in a place they call the bullpen. You won't like it much, but it gets the job done, and most people survive the Okay, it's more about the bullpen in our archives. We will check that out in a moment. Actually, we'll check that out now. Case Officer Thorne, controlled access authenticated. Welcome, power play compartment access. This is at the Neurosynaptic Stimulator. The bullpen, facilitator of communication between intelligence officers and non-cooperative agents. Applies increasing volt voltages to a human body at several extremities and at the temples. <coughs> Sounds horrible. CIA has no known classification for instruments that inflict torture. CIA does not condone that methodology, blah, blah, blah. KGB pioneered the use of the NSS as a means of extracting human. The NSS, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not sure how we got one at our office, but apparently it's originally a Soviet tool. And we got one for some reason. It's Warhurst. Listen, I know Milkovsky may have recommended some, how can I put this, extreme measure to get information from Ying. There's something called the Geneva Convention, Thorne, and we'd like to abide by it. Simply put, what you're considering is illegal. You and I don't want I'm the deal mixed up it. in it. Let's not get dirty on this one. Okay. Well, we'll see. 
Oh, and he wants to send us to the weblink connection, which doesn't work, but thank you. Anyway, Warhurst. So, as they mentioned, you do have the option to torture in the bullpen. Uh, we will not be doing that in this run proper. However, I will come back to it in a bonus video at the end to show off what that's like because it's quite a, it's quite an experience. Anyway, for now, that will bring this LP to a close or this episode of this LP to a close. And we shall return later, and we will head to Moscow to interrogate Ying, investigate Birdsong, and just in general, eat a lot of borscht. Alright, Stefania and Scott, y'all have a great rest of your day. Cheers. <laughs>